Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Day Trading with Newt. Today is December the 10th, 2018, and we have a watch list that I have had to do a couple of times this morning, so we're going to blow through this thing pretty quick. We're going to try a new format out. I'm uh, streamlining a few of the things, so I'll make it a little quicker and easier for you guys. All right, we're going to start this off with Facebook, NVIDIA, Tesla, BABA, Netflix, and then AMD and Square. All right, kicking it off with Facebook. You can see how it's had consistent movement. What does it look like on the longer trend? Well, it had dropped off. It made some cover. It dropped off again. More consolidation. Now it looks like it's continuing to the upside this morning. Don't really know. It could just be a cover pop and then drop. But average true range of motion of about $5 per day. Pre-market low puts it at 136. Pre-market high puts it at around 140. Well, 13960. It's only three bucks. If it breaks out of this pre-market trend to the upside, 100% up, it'll be 142, 100% down, 134.12. Okay. NVIDIA. NVIDIA has seen a big drop, a little bit of cover, another nice little drop, a little bit of cover, and then it had a huge sell-off uh, Friday there. And this morning, it's been kind of up and down. You can see how it gained some ground, but it quickly just dropped off. So what are we expecting out of that? To the high side, maybe 152. To the low side, maybe 141. All in all, about $11 worth of range there. So if this thing gets going, what if we extend that out to 155 on the high side and 137 on the low side? What does that look like over here? Well, 137 somewhere up in here right and you see we had a low of 133 before and on the high side this 155 that's going to put us right here where we hit some nice resistance before and so that's definitely on the high side i'm thinking i'm thinking this 200 percent extensions might be the way to go for today's look at it all right now we're going to take a quick look at tesla tesla is just crazy you know this thing creates its own weather on the high side, we are looking. All right, sorry about that. Had to fix a little problem. On the high side, we're looking at 373.20, and on the low side, we're looking at 348.90. And what does that look like for us if we translate that over to here? You know, we've got some resistance here just past the 347.96, so right at 348. We've got some good support and resistance here. And then on the high side, it's capping out here. I would expect that if it can make this move up to the 100%, it's going to make the move up to the 200% because that puts us so close to Friday's high. And if it breaks that, I mean, don't be surprised. What's the next stop up here? If you look, it's not much further to hit 400, which I know that looks absurd, right? But Tesla, when it gets to going, it can do things. So... I don't think it's going to hit that, but I definitely would be looking out for the 380s. Um, and then towards the end of the week, if this thing has caught steam, definitely I'm going to keep my eye on that $400 range. All right, Baba, next up. Baba's always looking good. And what we're getting out of Baba is it's did some consolidation. It's picked up a little bit of ground from where it lost um, when the market was kind of really dropping. But you can see how quickly it lost uh, faith over a three-day period. And then it kind of rally rallied there on last Thursday. But Friday it fell back off again. So I'm not going to make a prediction on if it's going up or down. But the 100% upside, we're looking at 155. 100% downside, 149. Average true range of about $6. But uh, I don't think I would be shocked if the market falls out to see this thing hit to the 147s, I don't think we'll get all the way down to the 145s. But both of those are good solid resistance or support points. And then on the high side, 157. I just see too much overhead resistance if we get past this. So that's what I look at for BABA. The 155 to 149 range, but in the extreme side, not above 157.5 or below 147.5. All right, Netflix. We'll take a quick look at Netflix. We can see it followed the other tech stocks where it's been dropping off, had a quick cover pop, huge drop off, a little bit of consolidation there. 
but I don't know which way these things are going today. Not even going to pretend like I know. Um, but I will say this, according to the Fibonacci, we're looking at a high side of 100% extension of 270.250 and on the low side, 254.34. The average true range is about 16 bucks. So that 54 to 72 ish, that is just shy of uh, what, 20 bucks? So that's like 18 bucks there. Um, is this thing, you know, got the guts to get up above 272? Well, you you don't have that much resistance here. I see way more resistance at around 275, which would put us at about the 150 mark. And on the low side, this 250, which is about the 150 extension, that that we'd previously set a low in there. But honestly, you know, you got a whole lot of resistance here across the bottom. So um, we'll see how this plays out, right? All right. Next up is going to be, let's hit square just because it follows the price action, right? $60, bucks, $60 stock here. All right. So what we're looking at is square. Square is a relatively safe stock to trade. It's got consistent movement. Follows a lot of the other stocks. So extension to the low side of 56.69 puts us right around here. Um, I actually see this low point of 52 being more accurate that's around the 150 extension plus it matches up with earlier today where it put the 200 extension so expect to see if the bottom drops out 55 20s you're going to see some major support there um and on the high side the 63.74 you can look across here and see they've got a lot of resistance across there um plus we've got this area to make up here 66.13 at the 200 percent extension um that puts us right up here. Major, major resistance there. Even if it has a great day, I don't see it breaking that. All right, next up is going to be AMD. I just got to find the damn thing. There we go, AMD. All right. AMD is looking like a monster today for itself. Normally has about a $2 range of movement. So nothing really crazy there. But more just in how much movement it's had lately where it had these huge sell-offs. A little bit of cover right before the uh, open and then a sell-off. And that's what it did today is it was slowly creeping down, popped on up, set a new pre-market high, and then it's been declining ever since. So I do kind of have AMD to the short side today, but I expect a cover pop. How big that cover pop is going to be, I don't know. 2083 on the high side. Um, you do have a lot, a lot, a lot of resistance up here around the 280 or 2080 mark. Okay. And then on the low side, you can see we did set lows in at 1718 the other day. And that's, you know, pretty close to the 200% low extension. Uh, eesh, that's, that's going to be a hard sell to tell me that it's going to go down that far. But, uh, you know, anything's possible. You know, AMD has had some some doozy days where it went like 21 to 19. So it's three bucks there. Um, we're already looking at two bucks here. So I really don't see it getting much out of this 1780 range, which would put us right at the bottom here for this resistance. Um, more likely even 1828. It just depends. You know, guys, um, if this thing has a huge sell off or if it gets some wind to it, right, it might want to close this gap up a little bit especially if they're rallying in the text. So we'll see, guys. It's anybody's guess. But I'm underneath the 10-minute mark. I'm going to get this out to you. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, hopefully me changing the color scheme here, getting rid of some of the lines that I draw. Maybe this is going to be uh, something that will help you guys. Um, had a couple little tidbits of information uh, given to me the other day. Um, I know my charts are a little more confusing to some of the guys, but I'm hoping to streamline that to you. Still get you the same information, uh, just in a more visually appealing way. So if you got any suggestions, drop them in the comments or hit me up privately. But hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out the links below. I'm going to send this out to you guys. Also, check out Johnny Matrix. And if you hadn't done so, the educational material you can get over at Trick Trades is second to none. Uh, myself and Johnny Matrix are both over there. We've got a great group of moderators, Ant-Man, Moses, Kelvo, 
Um, I know I'm li- missing some guys out there. Huge shout out to Trick Trades. You know, Pat Mitchell, he is just killing it over there. And it's adult style trading where we move for points, not pennies, right? Um, getting in and missing a couple of cents here and there isn't going to break you as bad as capturing the essence of the whole move. And that's what we try and do, guys. So uh, come on over and join us if you haven't done it already. Check us out, tricktrades.com. See you then.